Hey, what's up? We're looking at more Scania's, man. I just can't believe how epic these things are. We're looking at one of the biggest Scania's I've ever seen. This is a Scania S730 8x4 moving a 70 ton Caterpillar excavator. So Caterpillar, little cool history. Uh, they, for the longest time, were based where I'm from here in Illinois. Really cool. And uh, they make some awesome equipment. And so does Scania. So we're looking at them both. That's a big haul for sure. But uh, I'm sure the Scania is more than up to the task. This is from the Spotting Channel. They will be linked in the description down below. Please check them out. Awesome stuff. And uh, this is a Discord suggestion from Nicholas. So thank you. Let's go. This is in Belgium, I think it said. First of all, uh, look at that truck. It is so freaking cool looking. It is so good looking. I love the red and black. I love their grill and their logo. And, of course, the lights and even the flashing amber lights. Jeez, what a nice truck, man. They're just so smooth. And that is a awesome excavator, too. That is a big job, man. It's so wild. Like, most people, it, you know, if you don't do that for a living, most people don't even think about how big equipment gets moved around. It's uh, very important, and I feel like it's just a wild process that most people just don't know about, in including myself. I think uh, this is very impressive doing a job like this beautiful day there Tur perfectly clear blue skies look at that bucket <laughs> that's big <laughs> now this is interesting what are they doing here I guess they're just making sure everything's aligned right looks like he's controlling something oh it's raising up no way this that's cool Obviously, they make sure everything's lined up and secure. 11 a.m. departure. They're going to Dilbeek, Belgium. I probably said that wrong. Forgive my ignorance. And there it is. We're reversing on to the roadway. Look at that beautiful caterpillar on this extremely big setup with the Scania at the front ready to work let's turn it up oh i thought we were gonna hear it damn that is a nice truck i i really like it'd be cool if we had just some of these sprinkled in on american highways man <laughs> It's pulling it with ease. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Ooh, that was a cool... What was that lead? What is this? Is that a Ford Ranger? No, maybe not. No, it's not. I can't tell what it is. No, it is a Ford Ranger. Oh, that's cool. That lead vehicle. 120 tons. You, oh, using the highway is not allowed at that weight. Okay, that, that might make sense because that's pretty damn heavy. And look at all the wheels that pivot and turn on this trailer. How cool. You could definitely hear some turbo noises from the Scania, though. That's a beautiful part of Belgium. Look cool. Seven hours later? Okay, this is crazy. Um, this might be different, but I'm pretty sure it's the same random observation by me. Sometimes you can expect that guys. Uh, I can't zoom in, but I can zoom in on the editor. So you might see the zoomed in. If you see my mouse cursor here, does that say Dan Foss? There is a place like 10 minutes from my house, this big, elaborate, beautiful landscaping, beautiful grass, beautiful building, huge building with that freaking logo on it. It's on the sign, and then it's on the building, and it says Dan Foss. Now, that might be an epic fail if it's different, but I'm pretty sure that looks like the same logo, and we're in Belgium, not near me in Illinois. That's pretty weird, right? So, uh, yeah, what do you know about that? That's kind of weird. I never expected to see something uh, random building in Belgium that has a random manufacturer 
that I've seen here. That's very interesting. And uh, anyway, <laughs> 6.30 p.m., arrival at construction site. So it made quite the journey, and it looks like it got there safely. And that Scania is just beautiful. Look at that. Oh, round of applause. That is such a good looking truck. Wow. I just love seeing all these new vehicles that I've really missed out on. Uh, I love seeing them in action. It's really cool. This is quite a job too. Hats off to this this team, especially this truck driver, because this is not an easy job. <laughs> Driving it all the way there safely, and then of course doing these backup maneuvers, oof, that's, that's another level. That's another level, man. Most people, you realize, just can't do this. <laughs> wow, he got it right in. Bravo. I can't get over how awesome that thing is. I mean, we've seen a lot of cool ones, but this one in particular, this one's sharp. I mean, look at all the, the wheels. Look at that thing. Oh my God, this has got to have a lot of power and torque. I bet this is one of the top spec Scania's they, uh, they offer, right? That S730, because I mean, this is hauling a lot of weight. And there you go. They're gonna unload that excavator. And voila, job finished. Very, very cool. I hope you enjoyed that one. I would love to hear your comments on that. Pretty weird seeing that Danfoss building. You're probably like, what's the big deal? I, I don't know. I just, I, I got excited by that. I thought that was really kind of random and cool. And um, also, I cannot say it enough. I absolutely love learning about these trucks around the world. The Euro trucks are really, really awesome. And there's so much more to discover with these. I, they're just super, super cool. What do you think of this truck? What do you think? of this video, please tell me your thoughts down below and other suggestions you would like me to see. Let me hear about those too. Please throw a thumbs up on this if you enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe to be part of this amazing community. Check out that link in the description and take a look at their channel as well. My name is Ian. You're watching 9W Rocker. Until next time, y'all. Catch you later.